Doug has just seen Patty, Patty Mayonnaise. Nah, what's good, guys? This is Real Dale Freedom. I'm back with another video. It's been a while since I've been making videos, but please know there's a lot of things that I have in store for you guys. A lot of things that I've learned and a lot of things that I want to definitely bestow to you guys and give you much more understanding of what I've learned. So just know there's a lot more videos coming through. But um, right now, I just went to the grocery store and um, got all my food that I need for a good while. And um, I'm actually about to go into a cutting phase. And um, but I still want to continue to maintain my muscle and you know keep it as and build as much as I can as possible, or you know what I'm saying not lose not I mean at least not lose as much as possible. But um, over here we have um, I got my greens, my vegetables, I got some um, asparagus, um, some actually I, to explain things in a better detail. Um, basically, I have fresh vegetables and then also I have. Um, frozen vegetables and the reason I do that is because I, I, I use my fresh vegetables when I'm making like salads and things of that nature and it, it just tastes better and the uh, frozen vegetables are cheaper and more convenient and they last longer but um, I have some broccoli um, spinach and uh, the spinach I use the spinach in my protein shakes and uh, make, blend them in there it's really it's, it's really good and very nutrient dense um, uh, um, food that you can get and um, Got some kale greens, and then I got this, this stuff from Kroger. These little packages, they were like 10 for 10. It was a real good deal. Uh, some Italian style vegetables, um, some um, three pepper and onion blend, some cut green beans, and um, just all kinds of different vegetables. Some um, broccoli and cauliflower, and then uh, when it comes to the fruit, I love my fruit. If you anybody that knows me knows when I was a kid, fruit was my favorite thing. So, and also vegetables, but fruit I love it. And um, <clears throat> you know, I still want to get my carbs in, and I like things that are sweet. And I think to myself, hey, you know, fruit is the best option instead of having candy and all those other things. And um, actually, I like to give a shout out to um, I forgot the guy's names like Durander, Durander or whatever. I remember the Hosh twins and him. They were both arguing about. You know what's the best type of diet and um, I think low carb Corey all these guys they were all ar arguing with one another and I just gained a lot of knowledge from them. I went to Durander's um, YouTube page and you know what I'm saying continue to listen to low carb Corey listen to the you know what I'm saying her with the Hodge twins their advice and um, basically created a synthesis and came to the conclusion you know it's about a whole diet it's about having your proteins your fruits your vegetables the whole nine yards you know what I mean not just eating a whole bunch of being a vegan or just being a meat eater you bring it all together create a synthesis I'm saying two two um, circles of common radius that come together are greater than greater together than they are apart and that's kind of how I you know what I'm saying took the, that situation and combined it within my own my own diet but um have some mangoes putting like when I, I eat these and I put these in my um, protein shakes also um, got some carrots um, um, got some papayas I love papayas these are actually really cheap only a dollar at um, Kroger so I bought a good amount of them and then the super fruit I'm gonna be doing a lot of um doing be doing some videos specifically on this item right here this is an amazing fruit the avocado has so many benefits and um, uh, very good benefits in reference to if you're intermittent fasting and I'll want like I said I'll be doing some videos on that for sure and I've uh, got some bananas get your potassium in there and then um, <clears throat> also I bought like a big bag of um, a four pound bag of strawberries and then a three pound bag of um, frozen blueberries and the strawberries are frozen also and this is basically to make it where my uh, when I make my whey protein shakes which I'll be making videos for that also um, makes it where it get, it's already frozen and it lasts longer it's cheaper when you buy it frozen and it makes it where when you eat when you, um, when you make a protein shake it's more like a slushy sensation is cold and just mixes up better and then <clears throat> over here with the protein um, I have some um, I got some catfish, some frozen catfish, some chicken tenderloin, and then some chicken breasts. And then I also got some salmon, some frozen salmon. And then, if you already know anything about me, I love my bacon. And also, it, you know what I'm saying, it boosts your testosterone levels up. So, 
that's the, I got an excuse to be able to eat it. And um, I got I actually got the um, the butcher's cut. It's pretty good. Some, uh, I think it's um, pepper. Um, it's got a little pepper on it. And then my carbs. Um, I got me some um, some sweet potatoes. Some more organic whole wheat bread. Pretty good stuff. You know, got my good old um, whole oats. And then um, also other pro protein sources. Got some almonds. Got some pecans. Love some love pecans when I was a kid. Used to pick pecans at my uh, great granddad's house. And then end up finding out these things are good for you. And then um, uh, also I got some avocado oil. And I'm going to be explaining this once again. This is something that's very beneficial, very great. It actually says it on here. High in heart health. Has mono unsaturated fats, nutrients, and antioxidants. And you know what I'm saying? It's just a one, this is like a powerful one of the greatest things you can have. And then also got my um, my olive oil. Got me some olive oil from Italy, you know what I mean? Trying to come up in the gang, get some top notch type stuff. And then um, got my unsweetened, unsweetened almond milk. And once again, this is another thing that will be going into my protein shakes to mix up with. Um, <clears throat> got some. Um, some almonds, some wasabi and soy sauce um, almonds. This is kind of like a snack for me. And um, let's see what else. Got some almond butter from um, the local co-op where I live. It's pretty good stuff. Real good fats in it once again. And then got some um, organic peanut butter. And then I forgot also I got some eggs over here too. And um, <clears throat> got some fish oil. Some glucosamine conjordan and some vitamin D3. And then there, I'm also going to be making a video about this and how this is very beneficial to the intermittent fasters. Also, I'm going to explain why. And uh, this is apple cider vinegar. It's real nasty, but it's very good for your body. And it's something that's very beneficial. And I think I already told you about the whey protein, but here we go, guys. This was all, this was approximately about 160 bucks, all these different things that I got. Trying to stay healthy. This is like I told you guys. This is about not just about building muscle. It's about enriching my body. It's about becoming healthy and wealthy from within. And it starts with what you put inside your body. So you know, you eat well, you're going to be able to have the energy. You're going to be able to put on the muscle if you give your body the right nutrients that it needs. And you will continue to grow. You'll stay lean, and you'll just be at peace and harmony, and everything will be all good. You'll you know, what I'm saying, be happy in all, all aspects of your life. But, hey, I don't want to talk to you guys' head off. You guys have a good day. Keep it real.